Hey, my unique followers. It's me, Kelly, the creative mastermind behind Unique Designs by C&K. And today, we are going to test four different resin brands that I have never tried before. And that might be something you guys might want to try. I'll give you which brand in the size of the little kit that came with the resin and the hardener and how much it is. Now, I am not sponsored by any of these brands, so I'm not paid to do this. I just know there's a lot of newer people coming into the resin world and trying to figure out what is the best resin. So I did an experiment. We're gonna see how it pours with pigment colors, the mica powders. And here I have some regular, regular glitters that I use. And so we'll unmold those and see how they set. But each brand, they look similar, but they do have some slight differences. They all are they all have a 30 minute to 45 minute work time. Like the Wagyu brand here. He is a 16 ounce kit. I found him on Amazon. And for the 16 ounce kit, it was like $16.99 for this kit. I do like the tips on it, especially if you're trying to get a precise amount out. I'm so used to not having that precise tip pouring, it was a little awkward for me to pour him. Now I have the Let's Resin, or yep, this is Let's, Let's Resin, and the 16 ounce kit, and he was actually cheaper. He was $16.19 to get this kit. Again, I got him off of Amazon, and they all state they're self-leveling and to give you a clear, crystal clear pour. And then I have Art, Glo Art and Glow. It's a 16 ounce kit. So you get 8 ounces of resin, 8 ounces of hardener. And he was $19.95. And the Let Arts resin for a little 8 ounce kit, which is Four ounces of resin and four ounces of hardener cost me $33 just for this little kit. So he is far the most expensive and has the longest wait time or work time. He has 45 minutes. The rest have like 30 to 40 minutes work time. Now each resin brand does have its good and bad points. There's some things I liked about some of these brands and some I just, I, it's a no for me. That just comes down to personal preference and each, everybody's different. So I figured we would do a little review. I wanted to show the difference between the brands and how they pour, how they work with both glitters and mica powder. I'm gonna put my gloves on, I recommend to make sure you have your latex gloves on. And I'm going to actually unmold each one and we're gonna take a closer look at them and see how it, what it's, if it's true to what the brand says. Now, my house, I don't have a lot of humidity, but I keep my house right around 70 to 75 degrees, which is perfect temp for resin. <clears throat> But Michigan weather has been crazy, so forgive me if I seem a little fidgety on fidgety and a little con sound a little congested. You hear little man coughing in the background. That's Frankie. Yes, you can have it. I do all my art in open areas, so little man gets to see everything I'm doing. Jay comes in and she'll peek around the corner and take a look at what I'm doing here, but. We're gonna start with the Wacoon brand. And I am going to op unmold him. 
Now the little heart was a bonus because I accidentally poured too much resin. So I actually did these yesterday. Ooh, that came out perfect. Look at that, that's perfect. That was a perfect one. He, he, I don't see any imperfections right off the bat until I do. I do a finer tune inspection before I send anything to customers or sell anything. And sometimes I have a habit of getting little air bubbles in the tips and it looks like all my tips look fantastic. But here's the kicker. They all say harden hard at 24 hours. Now, I'm just under 24 hours because I can't wait. I'm not the very patient. But some most of the brands are stating at about 12 hours I can unmold. We're at about 21 hours, 22 hours. So this one is the Let's, Let's Resin brand. So let's see how he looks unmolded. Now, forgive me, I got my latex gloves on because... Right after we're done unmolding, I am going to start pouring them so we can see which one, how each one pours. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one's my favorite and which one is like an absolute no for me. All right. There's the Let's Resin one. I just popped him out of the mold. He didn't shift. Now my concern is because I'm early on my 24-hour mark that some of them might bend as I come out. But if you look at him, again, he's a crystal clear. They say crystal clear. They're meaning crystal clear. Look at, I don't have any bubbles. And I'm a, fa I'm a fast pourer and a fast mixer. So I gain bubbles. Like I get bubbles. Yeah, he poured perfect. Yeah, he still he feels a little squishy in my hand, but he was hard enough to come out of the mold and maintain its shape. That's that was my concern because some of them, because of what some of them said, like he feels a little squishy. Now this is the Art and Glow resin. Let's see, they all say crystal clear pour on them. I mean, literally on the bottle. And some of them actually, the Let, Let's Resin one, fabulous box it came in. I'll show you the box in a minute as soon as Art and Glow decides to cooperate with me. All right. And like I said, if you hear noise in the background, that's just Little Man. He got a brand new Xbox from his dad because Little Man's birthday is again when this video launches which will be monday so if you're seeing this video on monday june 26 pop in the comments and wish frankie a happy birthday hmm like i already had problems with this particular brand when i was mixing i i usually don't first time I don't sweat it. Second time, I got, I'm got i getting the same results, which is this green. We're pouring them. I didn't like it. There's several things about this brand I, I personally don't like. But, true to the word, I don't have any bubbles. I don't see any imperfections on him. Like, sometimes I'll get massive amounts of bubbles here. Yeah, I got a little bit. But, Overall, he was a good pour. And he is pretty. And they say, when they say they were giving that, talking about crystal clear, they weren't, they weren't, they weren't lying so far. All right, here is the Art Heart Resin. Now, I see a lot of big, well-known resin artists using this particular brand. It seems like the favorite. He's also the most expensive out of the four I've reviewed. I see a lot of Let's Resin and Art Heart Resin. I see a lot of that brand amongst 
the more bigger resin artists out there. So I figured I at least those two had to be in uh, for this review. Because you'll see a lot of artists using either one of these brands here. So I wanted to see how what the what the big deal is. Now I do got some bu some bubbles and that's just micro bubbles. But my main concern is I do get bubbles that like to get trapped in my tips of my molds here for the the petals for this lotus flower. And along along the the pattern edges here in the petals. And so far and all of them they don't make me abandon my favorite resin looking at this. I can understand because I do struggle with my brand that I use every day, which is Pudo. And I'm not reviewing Pudo on the on here because that would be unfair because it's called favoritism. But my goodness, I'm looking at this and the clarity that I'm seeing in these pores, fabulous. Like, better, and I, I gotta say this, because I love Pudo to death. It's my favorite resin. But so far, these four resins have put it to shame. Because I do struggle with some, there's some things about Pudo that I do struggle with. Which is the fine details. I do get a lot of air bubbles caught in them. But my goodness. The way these just. Unmolded. Whew, it's like a dream. Now I'm not going to unmold the hearts. I may unmold the hearts at the end. I want to. Show you you guys. How. Well these pour. Now this is the Wagyu. I want you to see him as I pour him. Now, like typical, I always treat all my molds like this. And I did this with Poodle too. Sometimes, like I said, I don't get, I get air bubbles caught in my, my petals. So we're gonna see how it does with this mold. Now, I don't like that. Let me, I gotta get him out. Ooh, guys, I think we're experiencing... Oh, crap. All right, well, Wagyu I can't do. Okay, he gotta go. He gotta go, go, he's gotta go. All right, guys, give me a minute. I know what's happening here, and I gotta get rid of it. So, give me a minute. All right, guys, I am so sorry about that. What you just saw happen... Right, poured so thickly. That's what we call... The start of a flash cure because I felt the cup get was kind of warm. Like they're all kind of warm, but they weren't as warm as the wagyu. The wagyu, I was starting, and that was my what I was afraid of. Now it did tell me I could pour up to 200 milliliters. I was at a 120 milliliters, and I was letting them set. Because I let my resin, all my resin set for about 10 minutes. I know we were probably about a little beyond that time. And I picked up the cup. He felt weird. And I was, when I was stirring the stick in there, because I normally stir my sticks. Like I lost a mold over it. Now I'm a little upset. Because molds get expensive. And it's one of my favorite molds. But that was what we what you're starting to see was the start of flash cure. And that was the second time I've ever experienced it. Now it explains why I was starting to smell something weird over here. Because I'll start to give off a weird smell. So until I picked up the cup, I could feel, feel that it was a lot warmer. Like let's resin is a little warm, but I'm getting ready to pour him. And I've already mixed, twiddled him, and he's still, he's not giving me any problems. So, we're safe right now. I've already checked them. We don't have any flash gears. 
So, and I forgot the spray. Sorry, I got a little frazzled. With flash care, you don't don't you don't wait for it to start wanting to put a lot of fumes out because those can get toxic. And because I have little man here sitting in front of me playing on his Xbox, it had to go like fast. So I did a quick pause. I immediately run over to my sink because my sink's like 15 feet from me. And uh, I throw water in the cup, which helps cool the temp of the resin down. But then I also immediately go outside, chuck it in the garbage can. I don't, I'm, and close the lid. I get I get completely remove it from my house. I had to remove the mold. Uh, the mold got thrown away too, because there was no coming back from that. And that sucks. But at least you guys got to understand what a flash cure is. And I'm dealing with white resin, so I gotta be careful. I will overflow. So this is Let's resin. And he pours very nicely. I can give him that. So far, I'm not seeing any problems with him. Other than a white against a white is not giving me very good. I always check my little tips here. Because air bubbles get chopped, caught in there. So far... He poured very nicely. So we're going to move on to Art and Glow. And he looks nice. He still looks... He, again, I could tell that he, resins were getting ready to do its thing. Let me do this. Because I didn't do this for that. That's why I have a silicone mat. Just in case I over pour. It looks like I over poured the... Let's resin. So this is Art and Glow. Now, when I was mixing this one, he mixed real. He came out really thick. The resin itself was really thick coming out of the bottle versus the hardener, and it does have a smell. I, I unfortunately I hate this smell that I'm smelling. At first, I thought it was the the flash cure I got from the Wacom brand. That I was experiencing. I experienced this smell last night with this particular brand. So this one I would suggest not suggest to you because it's not. Um, if you have a thing about smells, this is not going to be the brand for you. This is not going to be the brand for you. Need. He pours out of the cup kind of thick, too. When they're thick like that, it runs the potential to grab onto air bubbles and trap them in the resin. And not allow them, not push the air bubbles around. So that's not a thing. I, I, I just don't like my resin thickly pouring like this. And I can see the air bubbles got trapped. I do have a problem with air bubbles getting trapped in the tips of these. That's why you're seeing me squeeze it. So that's the Art and Glow. He pours thick. And for me, it comes down to personal preference. I don't like a thick pour. I absolutely hate it. And if you're just tuning in... Or coming in on your friend that's already halfway through my video. We just experienced the start of Flash Cure with Wakun. So that's why you don't see a, a lotus for him. Now this is the Arts Resin. The Art Heart Resin. Because it's got a heart in, the, in between Art and Resin. And he pours very nicely. Out of all the resin brands... The one I hate the most for pour is Art and Glow. He's just, and it's just my preference. I don't like my resin to be super thick when I'm pouring it. I like it kind of loose and water-like in consistency. For me, 
it just a lot lets me know when I've got too much I've made too much resin also it makes for even cleaner for me it feels like a cleaner pour then but every artist has their thing in their favorite brands and with <clears throat> newer people they're like oh which is the best brand I should go with for resin and it comes down to a, a couple different factors your comfort level money because resin is expensive Here was the Art Heart Resin. I'll move him back up with his little friends up here. So yes, you got to experience what we call a flash cure in this video. I am not happy, I had to lose a mold. But flash cures, when you um, deal with it, sometimes there's no coming back from it. And with my past experience with flash cures and molds, I knew I wasn't coming back from that. So the mold just went into the garbage can. And I immediately removed the flash cure outside. Because with flash cures, there is chemical fumes that get released. And I do pour in an open area in my house. So, no. Absolutely not. Out the door it goes. It could be pouring out rain or a blizzard outside and I have a flash care, I will be outside with that. It will be out the door into the blizzard. So, based on how everything is pouring, how it unmolded, they all unmolded beautifully. My least favorite out of the four, it will be Art and Glow. He is my favorite, or least favorite, out of everybody. Art & Glow, this was the, the $19.95 kit for this 16 ounce kit, which is 8 ounces of resin, 8 ounces of hardener. He, to me, it was consistency and smell. This, had, this has an awful smell. I dreaded poor working with it today after experiencing it last night. He is dreadful, has a dreadful smell. So, but if you like this brand, that's you, that's you. This is, this is my personal, my personal thing is with resin that I've been creating with, doesn't have a smell. This, like, it hits you in the face when you're working with it. It's awful. And my second and he was okay. He was a cute little kit. Probably perfect for someone new to resin. Wanting to just experiment for a little bit. You just can't do big pours with him. We just found out. Anything over 120 milliliters is going to cost a flash cure. Even though I'm allowed up to 200 milliliters with this. So this 200 milliliters and I won't get flash cure. Hmm. Yeah. But, most of what it said is true to it. Everything, it says bubble free, bubble free, crystal clear, self-leveling, resistant to yellowing, I haven't tried, that takes time. The 40 minute work time, yes, very true, but for me it would have been 30 minutes because I let the resin sit for at least 10 minutes to allow any air bubbles to come up. So, when they say the popular brands with the last resin and the art and heart resin, I actually really like both of them. Out of all four, it's like almost like a tie for between the two of them. He's just, for me, art resin, art heart resin, he's extremely expensive. He was $33.00. For this little eight ounce scent, uh, set, which was four ounces of resin and four ounces of hardener. He was extremely expensive for a little kit like that. 
But for you guys, I wanted to show, show the difference. So he's a high-end brand. Now, this brand, he was cheaper than a Wagyu and gave me everything I was looking for. The same thing with the Art Heart Resin, but he's extremely expensive. He's like, he's like the Gucci of resin. Now, let's resin. I like how the bottles is. It says every, does everything it says. We're so happy about this. And he was the, he was the cheapest out of everybody. But he's one of the most popular brands in the resin world, which is Let's Resin and Art Heart Resin are one of the most, most seen brands. And I see why those two are the most seen brands. So for someone new, this little kit, I would recommend, highly recommend, because in that box, and this is what we got me is both the higher end, the Gucci of resin, art, heart, and resin. And let's see. Mm -hmm. He's almost, he, depending on what you're getting, he can be up there in the high end. But for starting now, for this type of kit, he was that the normal girl going to the grocery store sees a cute purse that's like $40. The off-brand purse that you find at the grocery store or at the clothing store that's cute and mimics the high-end brand that can rival it but is price friendly so this is what the box looked like when I got it in it comes over and it talks about all about resin and then it comes with this cute little extraction kit Goes over everything, safety precautions, hey, wear this, do that. And then they go, since if you like them, goes they give you this and it goes over the different things they offer. Like the different types of resins too. And sizes. And if I remember right, he gave me a price, right? Like they even have molds and colorings. Which is really, really, it was really cool to see this. And also great marketing. That was a, that was a good marketing point. That was excellent, well, oh, it's resin, because you go put stuff in front of me, because I have this session of chameleon mica powers. And you had to show me that you have it. I'm obsessed with those. And the same thing with art resin. It came, came in this cute little, the box was, not as flashy as Let's Resin, but comes with, gives you this, hey, there's, some, I have a YouTube, there's an instructional, hey, this is what it looks like, this is what you should, how to do this, how it measures, and it did, the each box came with, this one came with, I think this came with cups, yes, this came with cups, and little, no, that was, that's where I go I put it somewhere, but it came with cups and stir sticks. Um, let's resin went all out in their box. You got sticks, you got gloves, you even got little droppers, plastic droppers to do certain special effects like teardrop, pour, like all this came in the let's resin box. Now these can get pricey, but that was really cool. Add that in there. Especially with that raindrop trend that's going around. So, let me know in the comments what you think is your favorite so far after seeing everything. And let me reiterate again, I am not paid to talk about these brands. I just saw that there are so many new people coming into the resin world. And... Knowing which brand does what does wonders and understanding and working with them. I normally work with Pudu, but it looks like the Gucci of resin. I'm 
If, if I have the money for him, I might buy a bigger bottle because he poured really nice and had everything I asked for in a resin. Let's resin will be my, probably have to buy a bigger bottle of this. I do like the light Let's resin a lot. And he was, he was cheaper than my Pudu for that size. So I might be um, switching brands over. We'll see. I still am still attached to my Pudu. But until next, oh, before we go, in my next video, just so you guys are aware, I'm going to do an informational video, especially if you're a small business owner and you're looking, wanting to know what competes with Etsy. And there's a lot of things that Etsy on about Etsy that people don't know. So I'm going to compare Etsy to a new app called To Do. They've been out for almost almost two years. They're go they're almost to at their almost at their two year mark. And I love I actually love both. I used to be a huge Etsy fan and I'll talk about why I'm not a huge Etsy fan anymore on seller on the seller side in that video and that will come out Wednesday. So until then be you be unique.